A federal judge just ruled this week that California cannot require background checks to buy firearm ammunition. So here's the background. In 2016, California voters approved this ballot measure called Prop 63. And this measure did a number of things, like it banned large capacity magazines, but it also had this background check provision, which was supposed to create a system where gun owners would apply for an ammunition purchase permit. It cost about $50. It would be valid for the next four years. And for that, you did this background check, right? But then California lawmakers amended that measure to require this automated background check each time someone bought ammunition. So instead of just a one-time check when you apply for that ammunition permit, it was now a background check for each time you bought ammunition. So the judge's ruling found this sort of measure to be unconstitutional and that these types of background checks have, quote, no historical pedigree. The ruling says, quote, a sweeping background check requirement imposed every time a citizen needs to buy ammunition is an outlier that our ancestors would have never accepted for a citizen, end quote. The judge also noted that the state's automated background check system, which he said rejects roughly or rejected roughly 11% of applicants in the first half of 2023, uh, is not great. He said that that rate was too high. So remember, the Supreme Court's 2022 ruling in Bruin set this new precedent that firearm restrictions must be consistent with this nation's historical tradition of firearm regulation. So that's why all of these recent rulings coming out are putting so much focus on historical tradition. Now, in this case specifically, the state of California did immediately appeal the decision to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals and asked the district court to put his ruling on hold while the appeal is playing out, but the judge declined to do so. So what that means is that the background check requirement for each ammunition purchase is no longer in effect unless the Ninth Circuit comes in and puts the district court ruling on hold until they make a decision of their own, which is very possible when you take into account the history of this case, because this law had actually previously been struck down by the same judge in 2020. But what happened is it went up on appeal to the Ninth Circuit, and while it was on appeal, before the appellate court could even hear the case, the Supreme Court issued their Bruin decision. So the Ninth Circuit actually sent it back down to the to the district court for the, the district court to issue a new ruling consistent with the Bruin decision. And that's what was just released this week. So now the case will go back to the Ninth Circuit on appeal. And because the Ninth Circuit previously reinstated the law while it was up on appeal, I don't see why they wouldn't do that same thing again. 